What is up guys and welcome back to more Detroit Become Human. So, we have found Jericho and we are on our way to the border for Kara. So no one wants to talk in this car. It's kind of awkward, is it not? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. I'm really hoping that by me saying that we should run. I don't know, I was like, I feel like that was the wrong thing to do and I should have stood my ground. So any other option I get to do that, I will definitely stand my ground, 100%. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Bitch, I was watching that. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. I think another thing that shows that Alice was Long an girls. android as well They're is the fact around. that the women. I feel like if to catch. if Alice was a real little girl, she would have said, "Maybe the little girl should stay with us." But the fact that she's happy enough to let Alice go through this that just goes to show that I feel like everybody knew except Kara. Though, shouldn't Hank be with him now? My ultimate mission throughout this second let's play, obviously I want people to survive, you know, and to be happy, but I feel like my main one was that I wanted Hank to survive because there is good in him, you know. To be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. Just so many androids. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time.
Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Yeah, I feel really sad actually that this entire time Luther knew what was going on but never really thought to mention it, you know? Okay, so I'm really hoping that in this episode today we can make Connor go deviant. It's actually really funny because I feel like I know what would be the right thing to do now and it kind of feels a little bit obvious well some of them anyway that is really weird Actually, I don't think I had that cutscene before that the freighter's rigged. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Okay, let's go find Marcus. So it's funny, by this point, Marcus could have actually died, and I saw that what happens is here, you actually go and find North instead. So North pretty much takes over from Marcus. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but we know what's about to happen. Dun, 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 dun. I'm still pissed off about this, by the way. It's one thing that I didn't want to be the case. Alice.
forgetting who you are to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. I mean, how devastated would you be though? You know, I just, I hated that section. I hated it so much. It bummed me out forever. So, is Alice deviant? Because that's something I always wondered. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Ooh, that's not a good path. That's a very bad path. Oh, shit.
Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Stay back, or I'll shoot. Ah, shit. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. <gasps> ah! Come on! Yes! Come out! Come out! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, Connor. to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Oh my god! What's going on, Cap? Quick, we've got to get out of here. in the hold they're gonna be slaughtered fuck i don't know where's josh i don't know we got separated there are exits on the second and third floor find them and jump in the river they're coming from the upper deck now too we'll be caught in the crossfire we have to run marcus there's nothing we can do we have to blow up jericho 
If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. All right, time to go. This is so cool that we have Connor here. We love you, Connor. All right, just don't fuck this up. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Ready for that? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Don't move! You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. Through the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. All right, let's go. I'm not going to open it. killed if we open up. No, Kara. I didn't want to risk it. That's the thing. I'm not risking losing my character when I've done that one before and I know that it means that I'm fine. I'm not risking it when I don't know the outcome. Quick, this way! Find 
Find north. I'll join you later. Over there. Oh, We're safe, Alice. Stop. Here. Quick, we gotta go. What about Luther, though? Okay, Kara is safe. That's fine. Second, we gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. Ah, oh, that was stressful. Goodness gravy! So much different happened there too. Oh man. Aw, oh, Simon could have made it there too. Ah, oh, okay. Save North. Let's have a look at Connor's chart here. So explore Jericho. Uh huh. In the ship. So what's all that bottom? Connor escaped to Jericho's people, which is fair enough. But there's still like. All of this stuff down here too. Where does that stem from? Jericho is under attack. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no. to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. All your fault, boy. Connor is going to be here. I mean, I doubt it, but... Oh, no, wait, doesn't Connor go and visit Hank pretty soon? They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants, so they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm OK. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. At least I managed to bring it back, considering she hated me in the last bit. Okay, um... I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people.
No pressure. What? Decide Connor's fate? Are you fucking kidding me? Where even is Connor? I don't see him. Uh. I don't know where Connor is. He's not there. He's north. Is that him? No. That's Josh. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. I'd love to decide Connor's fate, but I don't know where he is. I can't see anything. The sun is currently going down, making it incredibly difficult to see anything in the dark sections of this game. Okay, hidden in the darkness much? Jesus! It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Oh, shit, son! You got Humans this, Connor. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Oh. So last time I marched peacefully towards the camps to pressure them. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? I gotta make this work this time. I just have to.
Okay, so... Yeah, peaceful protest was the one I went last time. Okay, so Hank quit the force. So that's last time, but I haven't... Wait, so that should have happened by now, but it hasn't. So we're gonna go to Hank's house just now and hopefully get this next stage. At 6 no? a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? Please? Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. But where's Hank? Do I not get another thing with Hank? Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. But I don't understand. Like, I... I did everything to be friendly with Hank, but I didn't get, I didn't get a cutscene with Hank because, I, I don't know, I don't get it. So I'm at Cyberlife, this is awesome. I didn't see any of this before. Walk straight in. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. But unfortunately, guys, that is all I got time for in this episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.